Matt, how do you show patience through this process? It's tough. It's, yeah. uh, you know, especially now once the throwing is getting ramped up and uh, the season's kind of working its way, uh, you know, to the middle. It's it's definitely hard, but, uh, you know, we're, we're working in the right direction. So, uh, you know, no complaints there. What are the things you thought of, uh, you know, the positive thoughts you've thought of that have kind of driven you to get through this and to kind of get to the point where you're going to be back out there? Uh, just the way everything feels, uh, you know, the progression and no setbacks. I think that's the biggest thing. And, um, you know, I, like I said, I'm happy with the way I feel, the way that my arm feels and the way the ball's coming out. And uh, I couldn't be happier. What is it like for you to be here, to be in that dugout with your teammates, but to not be able to help? Well, it's 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 a learning process as well as, as being with the team and, and being a good teammate. I, I think, uh, you know, I was talking to Dan Worthen in the, in the outfield during batting practice, and I think, you know, I told him that the best thing about being here is, is you know, being in the dugout and, and being able to communicate with uh, the catchers and the other pitchers and, and, you know, find out what guys are swinging at, what guys are taking, and, and um, you know, always just, just continuously being in the ball game, even though I can't physically be out there. That being said, how close are you watching the other hitters as the Mets go through these series? You know, a lot. I, I think... Um, you know, I've, I've gone inside. I've, I've looked, uh, you know, on TV as well as, as in the dugout. Because sometimes you, you know, you can see locations a little bit better inside on a TV. But uh, you know, you really don't get a sense unless you're physically there and physically in the dugout. And, and you know, that's that's been the biggest help. And, and uh, I think rather than watching, you know, 162 games on on TV and thinking that I'm not part of the team at all is is. Uh, you know, it's definitely helpful that I'm here. So, what are you saying? The TV broadcast isn't good enough. Well, no offense, but <laughs> no, I uh, <laughs> absolutely not. No, I, um, you know, it, it's it's a team sport. So, being around the guys is completely different, and and you know, it's been uh, it's been great. Being around here and watching what's going on in the field, what's missing? Well, what's the difference right now between winning and losing? Well, I think uh, you know, David. Uh, you know he's having a little bit of trouble right now getting some support around him and, and you know he's getting pitched uh, a little bit differently than than normal and and you know once once the guys around him start start swinging a little bit better and, and getting some more offense and then he'll uh, he'll pick right back up where he always is playoff beer lives the game five glad you're healthy and doing well we'll see you soon thank you appreciate it